Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a video on my favorite face powders for dry skin. You guys know I probably say it in every single video, but you guys know that I have very dry skin, especially in the winter. It's like, uh. so for a really, really long time, I didn't use powder at all. Every powder I put on my face looked really, really, really cakey. When I first started out with makeup, I thought that the only makeup brand growing up was MAC. So I had the Studio Fix powder, which if you know that powder, that powder is like, it, it's a powder foundation, I think. It is thick and it was, first of all, it broke me out really bad and it was just so thick, but it's the only thing I knew because all my friends were using that one. I don't know. Anyway, for a long time, I couldn't find any powder that suited my skin type. But today I will be sharing five with you. That may be a lot to some of you and that may be a little bit to some of you, but the I'm not naked by the way. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Anyway, I'm just gonna get into the video. These are my favorite powders for my skin type and unfortunately I only have one drugstore powder to share with you. For some reason I haven't tried many powders from the drugstore that suit my skin type. So leave a comment down below. If you have a favorite holy grail powder for your face, if you have really, really, really dry skin and you find that a powder at the drugstore works for you, let me know down below because I will go get it. <laughs> I want to talk about my favorite powder foundations. I have two that I really, really love. One has a lot more coverage than the other, I think. So I'm going to start off with my favorite. This is the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination Powder. I have mine in light. This is like my normal shade when I'm not tan. This is great. They do have two different powders. They have the Celebration Foundation Illumination and then they have the Celebration Foundation Powder, which is probably better for those of you with oily skin. This is so nice for dry skin because it gives you really nice coverage. Like I will apply a primer to my entire face a hydrating primer something you know to help my dryness and then I will go in with this product and it doesn't make me look cakey but it does give me nice coverage I like to use this when I'm not filming so I'll just like you know on a regular basis if it's really 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 hot outside I'm like heck no I am not putting on foundation in this heat I will go in with something like this I like to use this kind of brush this is a morphe G7 brush from their gunmetal collection because it's dense enough to pick up product But it's like actually really flimsy at the same time So it doesn't pack it on because if I pack on too much powder on my dry skin It will look cakey no matter what so I have to work in light layers I will do that around my entire face and the places where I need more coverage where I need something more than just a dusting of this I will go in with a flat top kaboom Oh. I will go in with a flat top kabuki, really similar to like the Sigma flat, a flat top kabuki. That gives me maximum coverage with powders like this, but again, I can only use them in certain areas. Anyway, so this is my favorite, favorite, favorite powder foundation because this powder has a slight sheen to it. It's not a flat matte. I don't know how to explain it. All I can tell you is go to Ulta and swatch it and when you touch it it almost feels creamy like when you blend your fingers into the powder it almost has a creamy effect on your fingers and on your skin I don't know it's freaking magical I don't know how to explain it it's magical and it's great for us girls with or guys us people with dry skin it's great so another one that I really love is the NARS all day luminous powder foundation I have mine in the shade Fiji this is what it looks like. Um, I love this for two reasons. I do like this as a powder foundation. Not as much as I like the It Cosmetics one, but I like it on days where I'm having a really good skin day and I don't need to cover much because this doesn't have much coverage. This doesn't pack the kind of punch this one does. But I also really like to set my makeup with this because it gives me an extra layer of coverage without looking cakey because this is a very soft, creamy powder. It just, it gives you like a light wash of coverage and it's really nice on my dry skin. I know a lot of people don't like this for some reason on Sephora, like people hate this. I've read, but I personally really like it for my skin. It doesn't emphasize my like texture. It doesn't emphasize dryness on my face and it's just, it's really nice. It comes with a little sponge on the bottom. So like if you want to touch up throughout the day, you can. So those are my two favorite powder foundations. Now I want to talk about setting powders. This is the Maybelline Fit Me and I have mine in 135 Creamy Natural. You guys know I use this to set my under eye concealer all the time. It's my favorite from the drugstore and even in real life. It's one of my 
in real life. What does that mean? And even in hot from high end, it's one of my favorite setting powders, like for under the eyes. Sometimes it's really, really hard to find a powder to put underneath your eyes or it doesn't emphasize your like lines or it doesn't look like crepey. And this one doesn't do that. There is a definite sheen to this powder. You rub your finger in it and then you swatch it and there is a glow to this powder. It's pretty incredible. I don't know if you can see it here, look. You probably can't, but there is a definite glow to it. It has a little bit of a sheen. Nothing too crazy, but it just looks great on dry skin because of that luminosity. And their regular powders are really, really nice too for dry skin, not just like the light ones, like for every skin color they have. Okay, so let's talk about my old faithful here. This is my old faithful. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. I have mine in medium. This is the first powder I discovered that I was like, oh, I can wear powder. It was like a moment. I was like, wow, a powder that actually doesn't look disgusting on my face. This is the first powder I discovered. I even talked about it like two years ago on my channel. I was like, I finally found a powder I could use. This is a great, great powder because you could also use this as a powder foundation because if you do a couple of layers, it does give you some coverage. So you can totally use this as a powder foundation. If you have just a little bit to cover, it's not like, full coverage, but it does cover something. This is like a baked product, so it's very, very finely milled, and it just glides on your face, and it has, I'm gonna say this for every powder, but it has a little bit of a, a luminous sheen to it. Those are the kind of powders I go for since I have dry skin, so I'm like repeating myself. The next powder doesn't have a luminosity though. It doesn't have a sheen. This has kind of like a slight glow to it. I don't know how to explain it. It's matte. I mean, it's like, if you put it on your face, it'll mattify you, but it's not a flat mat. I don't know how to explain it. It's amazing. And then the last powder I have to share with you guys blew my socks off. I spoke about it recently in a favorites video, so I don't want to go too in depth with it, but it's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush, Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. This is in the shade Medium. This is the best powder ever. I really love this powder because there isn't a sheen to it at all. Like it's not a luminous. It's not, you know, it is a matte powder. It will mattify you if you are looking too dewy, dewy, dewy or oily is what I meant to say. If you're looking too dewy, if your oils are coming through something, this will mattify you. It will. But in the most beautiful way possible, this like covers my pores, it doesn't emphasize my pores, it doesn't emphasize any texture, any dryness. I was completely like, I can be matte and not look dead? That's amazing. Because matte on me doesn't work since my skin is so dry, like I've said 10 times. But I could just put this on the places where I want to be matte and it looks flawless. Like it literally looks like porcelain skin. I do have an honorable mention really quick that I want to mention and it is the L'Oreal, okay, I can't speak today. It is the Laura Mercier uh, Loose Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. Everybody and their mama has been talking about this. I got the little one that you get like at the checkout at Sephora because the big one, it was, I was like, man, that's a lot of money for a product I'm never gonna go through. So I got the little one and this is a great powder. This is a beautiful setting powder that doesn't emphasize my dry skin either, but I just recently started playing with it. So I didn't wanna include it, but I really have been liking it. So these are my favorite powders for dry skin. These are the powders that really, really work for my skin type. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below if you have a holy grail powder from the drugstore and you have dry skin and it works for you. I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.